I actually was away from a confession for many, many years. I had a period of my life where I felt very distant from God. I felt very alone and lost. Growing up as a Protestant, I did pray to God. I did ask for His forgiveness. I, I did do all those things. But once I discovered it, it was almost like discovering a previously unknown familiarity. Growing up, I thought confession to me was something I feared. And why would I go to confession, you know, to be scolded? I think there's an innate human nature that we all want to confess to someone. We want to get it off our chest. So there are plenty of bartenders, plenty of therapists that know that. It's incredibly humbling. Uh, for me to go in there because I'm, you know, I'm a human, I'm, I'm a priest, but I'm a sinner too. Confession is about freedom, it's about gaining freedom from uh, slavery to sin. No wound is too small or too big, it's a wound. This wound is affecting my life and how can I find uh, relief from it? Going to confession for the first time is like realizing you have a need and then simultaneously realizing that that need has been met. You don't realize how much you need it until you go. It's just a great way to share with my children joy of knowing that it's part of the process of growing and learning is that we mess up and that the mercy of God is so powerful. Once those words of absolution are pronounced, that sin is forgiven, it's gone, it's done. And that's a beautiful feeling to know that that sin is forgiven. During that first confession, I sat there and the priest looked at me and he just said, welcome back to our church. I just felt overwhelmed with this peace and joy. It's worth a risk and it's worth that uncomfortable feeling at first. We're not about the sin, we're about the mercy. We're not about the failure, we're about the success. But in order to have those things, we need to be able to face the weakness.